Hello everyone, it's GG here with my final entry into the GG Chronicles. Now I have been playing this series on the Savage Wilds map, which is a mod for Conan Exiles, and it has a companion mod called Shima's Compendium. I highly recommend that you get both of them. So for those of you playing on a PC, you can download these mods and it will show up on your drop down menu for map selection uh, when you start your Conan Exiles game. So uh, let me give you a peek at the map here. It's absolutely huge. This is a new addition, this southern island here. Lots and lots to do here, lots of dungeons. Has a jungle biome, the desert, uh, has the Sumerian area, which is beautiful forests and lakes, has a volcano, and then up here is the snowy area, which is huge. There's so much to do on this map, guys. I'm, I'm sure I haven't covered it all, I'm sure. <laughs> There's just so much. So as everyone knows, uh, I have gained the reputation of the Gold Goblin during this series, but more importantly, my past has been revealed through the gift of my Granny Claws, which I will share with you. Granny's Claws. These claws are the legendary weapons of Granny Gamester, or Gigi, the inventor of a deadly martial art that initially featured combatants dueling with spatulas in the ring. The metal gleams a fearsome red, each claw tapering to a needle-sharp point, embodying the fierce spirit of their owner. Gigi, with her astute mind and fierce ambition, recognized a loophole in the martial arts regulation and introduced these formidable claws into the fray. Her innovation revolutionized the sport, her claws becoming as much a part of her fearsome persona as her tactical genius. By the time the oversight was corrected and the claws were banned, Gigi had already clinched numerous championships and retired to the Savage Wilds, her legacy sealed as a wealthy and cunning martial artist. These claws stand as a testament to her shrewdness and skill a reminder of the era when Gigi reigned supreme in the ring, her victories as sharp and striking as the weapons she wielded. Yeah, pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. So, it is only fitting that I build this beautiful retreat, glittering with gold and providing rest and solace. So, let me give you a little tour of this. You go up a little bit higher here. So this is the front of the palace. And as you can see, this is up here on quite the little mountain. Now this was done with the Desert Town mod. And I did use the Terranian roof for this. But all the rest of it is the Desert Town. And I believe it was the cement step. So let me give you a tour. So of course that's Delincia and Chasman and there's my two front door guards, but uh, you know, they never face the right way for very long. And then there's Alfonso, he is my dancer. And then in here is my greenhouse where I can garden, get my little heart's content in my retirement. And then if we go down this way, my animal pen is right over the railing here. Now, I don't have too much out back here, but the view is beautiful. As you can see, I'm so high up, I'm like in the clouds, in the mist. It's beautiful. And over here, I have my work area. I have my bearer here, my T4 bearer. 
But on these tables are all the benches. Now this is the Beyond Stations mod. And these are miniature stations. And they combine at least two, usually two of the benches in the regular Conan Exiles uh, game. So it kind of tidies everything up. You don't need as much space. It's wonderful. And over here I have my dismantling bench, of course, and uh, my fluid press. And then I have my fridge, my stove, do all my cooking, all kinds of storage. And then up here I have all my storage boxes to carry everything, keep everything organized. And then we go back around this way. And I do plan on putting altars in there, or I did plan on doing that, but didn't get around to it. And then in here we have a fountain with a chair, a bench. And as we enter the front foyer, there's a beautiful fountain here with the dome ceiling. And to my left here is the dining area. I have a feast all laid out with desserts. My table all set. And again, this is the Beyond Decor mod. And this furniture and the rugs and everything. This is my living room. And then this is the library. And then we'll take a peek upstairs. And up here I have my bathtub or pool where I can relax and enjoy the view. And then on this side, I have my bedroom. And then across the way, this is my sorcery slash magic room. This is the Orb of Nagal bench. And this is where you can change your character. You can change everything but the gender. Can't do that. And there's another vanity there. You can also do some things with your character. And then in here, we have my thaumaturgy bench. I have my uh, clan emblem workbench. And this is my uh, iconographer's work table. I'm going to give you a side view yeah nice open space I love it and then the last I will show you the secret room that holds everything dear to me and where I come to reminisce have tales of my exploits in the tapestries. And it's here, guys, that I will hang up my cloak, my hood, and my claws. And I will enter into a time of rest and relaxation. Yeah.
Yeah, guys, it's uh, after a lot of thought and a lot of consideration, uh, I have decided that it's time to take a break from Conan Exiles and my channel. Yeah. Uh, I will not be doing any more live streams or videos of my channel for the time being. Uh, yep, kind of burnt out, guys. And uh, I will, however, be, uh, will remain on Discord. And I will keep the servers up and running for you to enjoy. That's important to me. And I will, but I will not be playing on the servers or doing any events in the future or gifts from the gods on the server, on the PC server. Now, Celtic and Bad Dad have agreed to remain admins and will be around to answer any questions or handle small problems that might arise on the server. But the ultimate responsibility of the servers uh, remains mine. And like always, if you have any issues or things you don't like going on with the server, you are to direct message me and I'll always be available, guys. So, uh, yeah, I will always be on Discord. Um, yep, chatting with you guys. I, I can't do no. I would miss you. I would really miss you. So, uh, yeah, I will keep in touch with you uh, that way. And plus, uh, I would can keep on top of any issues with the server. Yeah. How long can a warrior be separated from his sword or a granny separated from her claws? Only time will tell. <laughs> 